the Queen 6 News, the NCAA tournament coming to town. Yes, yeah, some games will be played starting tomorrow over at the Moda Center. And there's a whole lot of people in town, and there's going to be a whole lot of activity off the court. Jennifer Dowling joins us live with this. It's sort of an exciting time, Jennifer, with all these new visitors in town. That's right, Jeff. It certainly is. You can feel the excitement here at the Moda Center as people were flowing in and out all day for open practice in the Rose City. And we talked to the Oregon Sports Authority, and they say that the economic impact this year for the tournament could be in the millions just for Portland alone. We plan to stay for a while. The first tournament bus rolled up at the Moda Center Wednesday, carrying Texas Southern from Houston. How many people do you estimate are going to come out to support you here in Portland? We have about 50. With incoming crowds, March Madness means money for local businesses <laughs> and restaurants. Drew Mahalik, CEO of the Oregon Sports Authority, says hotels are filling up. Each team will be in their own separate hotel, uh, so they'll be in eight hotels in Portland. What we've heard is that the hotels are all sold out downtown, and so uh, they're sending uh, the entourage of fans uh, to the airport hotels. Drew says the total estimated economic impact, $10 million. And Travel Portland says peak room night counts for teams, staff, and media are 1,000 to 1,200 per night. The rest of the city is filling up with fans. That means eight teams from around the country will be coming here, spending time at our hotels, our restaurants, food service, retail stores. No doubt the teams are here to sink baskets. We're just here for business. We're not here for vacation. We're here for business, and hopefully we can take care of it. But it doesn't mean these teams and fans aren't sinking money into our economy as well. You know, I was excited to come to Portland. I've been here a few times before for business, and it's a great city. This is terrific for the city of Portland, particularly the hotels and the travel industry, to have all these guests coming in the middle of March at a time when we really want to welcome guests from across the country. So an exciting time here for businesses as well as fans. And we spoke with Mike Llewellyn. He said that there are still tickets available for every session, but it's anticipated that it will sell out. So if you want tickets, you should go grab those. As for the ticket sales, the NCAA wouldn't confirm how much they make on those, although we've reportedly heard that it is in the millions. Back to you. Wow. Would you, either way, that's a lot of money. You know, I ran into some Ohio State <laughs> yeah. fans, and they wanted to know where the food carts were. They wanted to go there, and we talked about them beating the Ducks in football. That was a lot of fun. But I just think it's exciting to have folks from all over the country here in the Rose City. You know what's ironic, Jeff, because you're mentioning those Ohio State fans. We did talk to a couple we're going to visit with at 6 who were excited about the food carts. So we'll see you then about that. <laughs> Speaking of which. We're known for the food carts.